Imagine you are a programmer and you are about to introduce a new feature in the code base. However, the continuous integration system indicates that there are some failed tests and now you have to spend hours and hours on debugging. Imagine a world where the build system not only suggests failed tests, but also provides possible patches. Join us as we speak to Professor Abhijit Roy Chaudhry of the National University of Singapore, one of the authors of Automated Program Repair. Automated Program Repair is an exciting and emerging area which focuses on techniques to automatically fix errors or vulnerabilities in programs. This is indeed an industry-wide issue. Currently, in any software project, we spend a significant amount of time just debugging and fixing errors. Automated program repair can help alleviate this effort. I think academics as well as programmers can pay attention to this area of interest simply because it has many, many applications. First of all, it can be used to improve programmer productivity. Secondly, it can be used for repairing security vulnerabilities. Today, security vulnerability, even when detected and published, it could remain unpatched for long. So by automatically repairing vulnerabilities, we reduce the exposure of these vulnerabilities. And finally, automated program repair can also be used for self-healing systems. So the area really has many, many applications. This technology has been applied successfully for the purpose of teaching of programming. We have ourselves used it. We ourselves have worked with colleagues like Professor Amai Karkare at the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, for the purpose of teaching of programming in an introductory programming course, where we used it for the purpose of auto-grading student assignment. We are currently also exploring the possible use of this technology for the purpose of hint generation for students when they are learning programming in an introductory programming course. On the industrial front, several companies are looking into the possible use of this technology. Facebook in their tool Sapfix, where they used automated program repair for automatically fixing mobile apps. One significant challenge that remains is the problem of overfitting where the patch generated may pass the given tests, but it could fail other tests. This is indeed an issue, and a lot of researchers are working today. Even if we produce partial solutions for this overfitting problem, I feel automated program repair can become a reality, and it can potentially be integrated into programming environments of the future. To learn more about automated program repair, please see the December 2019 issue of Communications of the ACM and the review article, Automated Program Repair.